we start off with uh, morning inspection. Uh, all the recruits, they get in line and we inspect their uniforms. Uh, before that, we say the Pledge of Allegiance. And then from there, it's uh, whatever the topic of the day is, and we move on and, you know, if it's subject control or firearms, we leave from here and, and go handle business. I would say there's not a typical day in the academy. Every day is different. We'll do different things every day. It'll, uh, it's craziness. It's uh, structured chaos, basically. We start out saying the Pledge of Allegiance, and we do inspections. Uh, sometimes we do a little PT. We try and make it fun. And then there's uh, classes usually from eight to five. There is no typical day. Every day is a little different. Uh, it's a little different. Uh, there's new stuff coming out daily. Uh, then it's going back and covering the old. So every day is just a little bit different. There isn't a typical day here. A typical day starts out where the uh, recruits um, uh, they line up after we do the pledge of allegiance uh, to the flag. They line up for inspections and we inspect their, their uniform and their equipment each morning. Uh, from there, we work on some drills, some um, you know, some standard attention, some movement, and stuff like that. And then, really, they start to get into the their day of whatever the instruction is going to be. And so, it varies from day to day. Uh, but all day long, they are being exposed to um, the different training courses uh, to become a police officer. Usually, Monday through Friday, from eight to five. Uh, we might have some specialized training driving at night, so the hours might vary occasionally. Uh, Monday through Friday and uh, 8 to 5. Typically, there'll be Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. There'll be some evenings, depending on um, specialized training like shooting, things like that, driving at night. Uh, the typical hour is uh, 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Now, we will change that around uh, depending on uh, what we're, uh, the course of instruction. Like, we want to do some driving at nighttime because these uh, people are going to do the shifts are at night. We want to do some driving, we want to do some firearms. So, things uh, are basically 8 to 4, but we adjust so we can do some of those skills uh, during the nighttime hours. Typically, we're Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Uh, we make allowances for night driving, some other events that we have to do based on weather and time of day. Uh, there's a, a lot of things you'll learn, not to mention the OPATA, um, the OPATA information. Uh, you're going to learn a, a sense of teamwork, pride, what we expect, your loyalty. Um, you'll learn all those things here. In the academy, we're going to teach you everything that you are going to need to know to get out there uh, to be a police officer. We're going to teach you the, the, the laws. We're going to teach you uh, subject control. Um, we're going to teach you how to uh, communicate with people, hone your skills on that, how to de-escalate situations. Um, so all those skills uh, we're going to teach in the academy and then you'll get out and you'll be with an FTO to hone and practice and refine those skills that we've taught you. A lot of stuff. It's a, it's a wide ranging stuff and all we basically do is give you an exposure to it and we give you a base to build on because most of what we do uh, you learn by doing. So we give you a foundation, we build you a foundation for it, and then you just build on it. Well, the POTA segment is things like the laws of the state of Ohio and driving, defensive tactics, obviously firearms, you know, things like that. But uh, we take it a little bit further for Akron, so you have to tell them the laws of the city of Akron. And uh, then we try and integrate everything that they've learned. And that's the most important part, is you can't take one subject, you don't apply the knowledge one subject at a time in the street. So you'll learn it that way, but at some point you have to integrate everything that you know. You'll learn things from uh, investigating domestic violence or traffic crashes to subject control, how to control suspects if they're resisting with officers, from uh, firearm skills, honing your firearm skills to make you better, and uh, the list goes on from there. The best part that uh, of being an instructor for me is uh, is just sharing uh, the 26 plus years of experience that I've had that uh, impart some of that uh, wisdom and knowledge and mistakes that I've made uh, to these new, uh, this next generation of Akron police officers. Uh, that is really the, the, the number one uh, reason why that I do this part in the training bureau is to, um, you know, to give to those kids that are coming uh, after me. Favorite part of being an instructor is watching the growth in the kids. They come in with uh, blank slates, if you will, 
and, and we just keep writing on them and, and they pick the stuff up. So it's fun to see them uh, learn and grow. So that's probably the best part. I'd say it's getting all the knowledge that I've learned from past instructors or past officers and just putting it forward. It carries on the history of the Akron Police Department and, and sharing that knowledge with everyone else that's going to be new and hitting the streets. My favorite part of being an instructor is helping young people fill the voids that us older guys are going to be leaving um, and know that they'll be safe doing it. I like working with the young people. I remember being there myself and uh, how excited I was to start the job of a police officer and it's just fun to work with them and see them you know bring that uh, energy and excitement when they're here and help to provide them with the tools that they need to be successful.